Let me ask you a question. Can you hack your Nintendo Switch? No? That's okay. Let me ask you another question. Have you been playing Pokemon Sword or Pokemon Shield? Yes? Perfect. Now I've got one last question for you. What would you do if I taught you how to get any Pokemon you want? No hack Nintendo Switch, no sketchy apps, no weird forums. Just a couple of trusted websites that you can use literally anytime from your phone or your desktop PC. No need to pay for anything, no need to sign up to any newsletters, and definitely no need to deal with other people. And before you start to wonder if the Pokemon are hacked, unusable, and a bannable offense, they aren't. They're completely legal, created by you, and sent directly to your game. But how does all of this work? It sounds a little too good to be true. Well, it is too good, but it is true. By the end of this video, you'll learn how to get any Pokemon you want, any gender, shiny or non-shiny, perfect IVs or no IVs, and if you watch to the very end of this video, I'll even include a bonus tip on how to put the Pokemon in any ball you want. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, so the first two places that you need to familiarize yourself with is discord.gg or discord.com since they've made the change and pokemon showdown so the link here is play.pokemonshowdown.com forward slash team builder and these links are also in the description below that way you can go ahead just click them and you'll get to them pretty quickly. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and make a Discord account. Go ahead and hit login in the top right corner and hit register. And you wanna go ahead and just make up any kind of email. You definitely want something that you can verify because you will need to have a verified email. So let's go ahead. We're gonna call this guy Terry cruise 24 7 because i'm out of names and then we're gonna go ahead we're gonna make a username so we're gonna say terry cruise 24 7 and go ahead and just make a password there we go after you make the password go ahead and set the date of birth we'll just say march uh, 27th 1971 we'll go ahead and hit continue next up you can go ahead and save it if you want to that's up to you right here uh, it says have an invite already join a friend on discord you can do that but you'll actually use the invite link that is just below which in this case um, whenever you go to click on it and you can search it up after you've created your discord account you can open up a new tab and you can type in bit.ly forward slash pokemon collection just like that go ahead and hit that and it's going to pull up a link and it's going to show you this server in particular now we do have a bigger sister server it's the main server with over 8500 people in it right now but this one is the simplistic straight to the point no need to worry about dealing with anybody in a lobby, no need to worry about announcements, no need to worry about trying to be social with anybody. Instead, when you join, it's you, the bot you select to create your Pokemon, and that's it. So go ahead and hit accept invite, go ahead and continue to Discord. And so there we go. Now this is what I meant by you want an email that you can verify. So you'll go ahead and do this. Now what's gonna happen here is it's gonna say everything you need to do. It's gonna have all of the instructions on how to actually start generating your Pokemon. So in this case, what we're gonna do is obviously uh, you know, make sure you verified your email address that you created and then follow through. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's not hard, it's really simple. I will go ahead and give you an example right now after I get the account verified really quick. So after you verified your email address, after a short 10 minute wait in the server, this will give you plenty of time to go ahead and watch this video or watch a past video on how to actually start creating Pokemon. You will have access to a couple of new channels. Now, if you're on mobile, you will have to swipe right and you will see this pull up on the left. You should see select a bot. So you'll simply click select a bot and you'll notice that there is a role menu and it says react to give yourself a role. So any of these bots are good. All of them are sysbot. They all do the same thing. 
But for this example, I think we'll go ahead and use, say, Victini Bot. This furthest left one is Victini, and obviously it goes down the list from here. So you can pick any bot you want. Again, we're going to use Victini, and now you'll notice that you'll get a DM, and it's going to tell you that Victini Bot, you know, it gave you the role. So now you'll notice under bot channel, Victini bot. So now this is the fun part that I really enjoy explaining because this is what makes creating Pokemon so simple and so fun. All you have to do is come over to showdown via play.pokemonshowdown.com forward slash team builder. Go ahead and click on a new team. And now for your format, you want to go ahead and select Ubers. Uh, it doesn't mean that you're stuck to specific Pokemon that are in Ubers. Rather, it gives you a better option when validating, which you'll see here in just a moment. What you want to go ahead and do after selecting Ubers is add Pokemon. And let's say for this example that we want to do the new shiny Zerora that was released. So we type in Zerora and then we can give it whatever item we want to. Most people do Master Ball because God knows you can't get enough of those. Under the moves, if you only care about not using this Pokemon in competitive, you don't care about the move sets. If you care about the move sets, there's another website you could use to get these sets from, which is Smogon or even Picolytics. But this one in particular lets you customize it as much as you want. So for this one, we're actually going to select four random moves. And then for right here, it'll take you straight to stats. Now under stats, it says guest spread. Go ahead and click that right there. This is again if you don't care about competitive and it's gonna go ahead and fill everything out here for you. Then you're almost done. Underneath details, you can choose the level, the gender, and the shiny. Zero Aura is genderless. The level, as far as showdown goes, everything gets generated to level 100. Now that does mean if you generate a Bulbasaur, it is going to be level 100, but if you want to evolve it on your own, you can still use rare candies and it will still evolve it, so it's no big deal. And if you want it to be shiny, go ahead and click that little box right there. Next up is actually even easier. Now, if you're on desktop, it's a lot easier. If you're on mobile, it's not that bad. So if you're on mobile, hold your finger down above this highlighted text right here and hit copy. But if you're on PC, you can go ahead and press Control C, or if you're on a Mac, Command C. Go ahead and give that a click there. And then come back to the Discord server right here. So once you come back to the Discord server, you wanna type the following. You wanna do dot, trade, hit space, and then Control V to paste. Or if you are on mobile, after hitting space, you can push down on your screen and hit paste right there, or hold down, depending on what kind of phone you have. Now you're done. This is all you need to do to start the trade of sending it to yourself. Go ahead and hit enter. And now it'll say you've been added to the link trade queue, current position five, estimated 5.5 minutes. Now this does depend on what is going on in the main server. These bots are linked to the main server and if the main server is something you're interested in, you can go back to welcome here and you will see a link right here leading you straight to the main server. So go ahead, head over to that DM that you just got. In particular, this one was with Victini. If you got any other bot, that's okay too. What I'm going to do really quick is I'm actually going to prepare my switch so I can show you guys what to do over there. Okay, so now that you can see both the desktop and the Nintendo Switch, you can see that over on the desktop it still hasn't quite been five minutes, but that should roll around shortly. Okay, so it has been about five minutes now. We haven't received the DM with the link code just yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start setting up the Nintendo Switch. Now, if you aren't already, chances are whenever you turn on Pokemon, it's going to look exactly like this. So you're going to be standing wherever you are, and that bottom left Y is white, right? So what we want is to turn it blue. So what we're going to do is we're going to press Y, and we're going to press plus to connect to the internet. So this does mean that you need Nintendo Switch Online. So you'll get the notification that it says you're now connected to the internet. And what we're going to do is we're going to click Link Trade. 
set link code. Go ahead and click through all of that. And then we wait on the code from the bot. Now the code that the bot gives you is going to be in this DM. So stay in this DM as long as you can, especially if you're that close. If you're within 20 minutes, you definitely, definitely want to be in there. Now we actually haven't been seeing that much usage. So we did just go ahead and get the code. So six, zero, three, nine, five, five, two, two. Now it does say, please be ready your code and it gives it. Go ahead and press plus after you've got it. And it says you've set your link code to be 6039-5522. Go ahead and press A, press A again. And it says starting search for another trainer. You can also cancel your request, press A. Now it's gonna go ahead, it's gonna open up momentarily. There we go, so we found the partner that we were looking for. So you wanna quickly pick the Pokemon that you wanna trade. We're just gonna trade away this Charmander. And look, it's the shiny Zero Aura that we created just a few moments ago and sent to the bot. Now the trade's gonna go ahead and go through and we're gonna look at its stats and we're gonna make sure that it had all of the random moves that we select and we're gonna make sure that it is holding the Master Ball that we selected as well. Okay, perfect. Now, after the trade is done, it is going to send you what is known as a .pk8 file that you just created by sending it your Pokemon. Now, in our case, we sent it a Charmander. Now, what this file does is if you decide to download it, you can drag and drop that same file into the channel and type .trade under the comment, and you'll actually be able to get your Pokemon back if you ever need it. And that's also used for some other things, but that's for a later video. So what you can go ahead and do is go over, check the Pokemon that you got. It's level 100. It's a shiny Zero Aura. If we check its summary, we'll notice that it is holding a Master Ball. It does have its IV spread. It's got all of the random moves that we picked before. This one in particular actually gives you all matching ribbons. And we're done. And that's it. You've got the Pokemon that you wanted and you know, it's an excitable time. So what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and save it. Now I did promise a bonus tip at the end. So I'm going to show you guys something kind of neat that you can do that will let you put the Pokemon that you want in any ball you want. So you kind of want to go back through and you want to build a Pokemon just like before. And of course we could do the same one, but what's the fun in that? So let's go ahead and go here to Team Builder. I'm gonna go back to List. We're gonna use this old Cinderace that I actually made. So we're going to take this, we're gonna paste it, and then at the very end, don't do it in all caps, go ahead and type Ball. And in this case, we're gonna do just a Pokeball. Or let's, let's, do, let's do Master. So go ahead and hit Enter, and it'll process your request. It'll add you to the queue and the Pokemon when you get it will be in the ball that you specified. Now you can do this with almost any ball, but either way, you did notice that when we went in here, add to the very end of it. So what you'll do is you'll do dot trade. You will paste your set and then hit shift or hold shift, hit enter, and then type ball, the colon, and then whatever Pokeball you want. You know, you could do a love ball, um, in this case, you can just type love and then you can type pokey if you want a pokeball. If you want a master ball, you can type master. If you want a dusk ball, you can type dusk and the list goes on. As long as the Pokemon is legal in that ball, you are 100% ready to go that is it everyone i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you all have fun going out there and creating the pokemon that you want i really the point of this was to give a free service away to people who couldn't hack their nintendo switch to those who were maybe too afraid to do it and to those who don't feel like downloading these sketchy apps, flooding up your phone with all of this crazy stuff. I'm sure most people by this point already have Discord. And most people know what Showdown is. And if you didn't, well then now you know the easiest way to get any Pokemon that you want in Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. 
I hope you all have a lovely day and do everyone a favor and stay optimistic. <laughs>